Today is an amazing day. Today is new truck assignment day. That's right, guys. After eight months with Old Faithful here, Old 50732 is finally going to greener pastures, and I am getting put in a new truck. So right now I'm sitting in the in the CFI Joplin yard. I'm about to detach from my trailer that I had and then I am gonna go and see what the new truck looks like I haven't seen it yet I just got back from a truck assignments office and it looks like they gave me 55602 so that's what I'm gonna go look for uh, right now so let's go look for it and see what it looks like and see if it's a 2022 or a 2023 hopefully so you're gonna be surprised as I am when I get to the truck. That's, I haven't seen this yet, so I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I'm really, really excited. Uh, also, while I was getting detaching from this trailer, I smashed my pinky pretty good there. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Let me see. Yeah, see, I smashed my pinky pretty good. <laughs> I think I got a little too excited today, but I smashed my pinky pretty good there. That's gonna leave a nice little bruise. But anyways, let's go see what this new truck looks like. I can't wait to see it, guys. Let's go see what's up. All right, guys, so uh, we got the new truck. It's another 2019 Kenworth. It just has less miles, really. That's really the biggest thing. So, I mean, it's a little disappointing. I would have hoped for something a little bit newer, but hey, I'll take it. It is what it is, right? Hey, it's a newer truck. Ah, I'm just kidding. This is the new one. Oh man. It is a brand new one. Next gen. Just what I was hoping for. It's got it's got the chrome wheels. With the chrome wheel cap with the lug nut caps. Man, it's super super nice. It's got the uh, sliding fifth wheel, a catwalk, bro. Oh my God, look at that. A damn catwalk, man. Woo! I'm on top of the world now, guys. Check that out. That's awesome. Dang. Now the question's gonna be is, is this thing brand spanking new? Like no one's driven it before? Or is this a re a reissue? Like somebody had it for a little bit and then you know turned it in or whatever and they're giving it to me. But it looks pretty good. It's just dirty. It looks like it's just been rained on quite a bit. Uh, looking at the fifth wheel, I mean that fifth wheel is squeaky clean. I mean it's dirty from like you know rainwater, but it doesn't look like it's ever been slid under a uh, under a trailer, so. I would assume it's probably brand new, but we won't know until we open the doors and get inside. I haven't been inside of this, guys. I told y'all the last time when I was gonna get this, when I found out, I was gonna do this with y'all. I haven't, I haven't gotten into this truck. This is gonna be my first time opening the doors. I've only ever seen the outside of these, never been able to see the in, what the inside of these look like. So this is gonna be my very first time in a new, second gen Kenworth. I don't even know if it's a 2022 or a 2023, but let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh man, this thing is clean. Wow. Look at that. Let's see here. We'll be able to find out right here on the door panel. Oh, it used to be on the door panel. Right, there we go. That should tell me what it is. It looks like it's a, it's a 2023 because it was manufactured in August of last year. So actually, oh snap, this is brand spanking new. I just realized the date on this thing. This is a 2023 for sure. And it just came off the lot last month. Look at that, just came off the line less than a month ago this thing is two weeks off the line this thing is brand spanking new like no one's ever been in this thing before and just look at the just look at the steps 
steel. No titanium alloy this time. I mean, God, last time I walked into a brand new truck, I mean, wow. The last time I walked into a truck, guys, it was not fun walking into the truck that I walked into when all of the seats were on the ground and dirt was everywhere and there was cigarette buds all over the floor. I mean, the inside of this thing is just squeaky freaking clean. Wow, look at that. It's got 23, 25 miles on it. That is insane. This thing is brand spanking new. All right, guys. So we are in a 2023 Kenworth T680. This is what I'm going to be driving with CFI now. Whew. God, dude, this thing is beautiful. I mean, the layout of the inside, based on what I've seen so far, it's pretty much the same. I don't really change very much. But here's, but here we go. So I'm going to turn on, I'm going to go ahead and put the key in. Let's go ahead and put the key in. Oh, that's new. Oh, 100% digital display. No more, no more analog display. Dang, check that out, guys. Woo! This thing has 25 miles on it, man. XM radio activation. Okay, cool. Dang. Fifth wheel. The fifth wheel. Uh, it's got a fifth wheel uh, puller. Instead of instead of manually putting it, you just use this guy. That's your. That's to slide your your fifth wheel. It's got a sliding fifth wheel. That's gonna be kind of fun to play around with a little bit. Uh, all all controls here on the steering wheel control so that'll be nice to be able to switch you know music here instead of having to you know reach down here and do it kind of thing so that's cool wow 100 percent digital display uh i'm gonna have to like really pay attention to all that all the functionality is still kind of the same like nothing really changed lights lights and windshield wipers are over here blinker of course over here jake brake over here still wow dude this is insane wow this is so cool man i can't i'm just like i'm tripping out guys if i'm being honest with you it's, this, is, this is pretty cool already let's go ahead and turn it on dude that's a quiet start too in comparison to the other truck the other one's like oh, this one's this one's just a cool, nice quiet start real nice oh this is even better man it tells you what the air pressure of your uh of your tires are i wonder if it tells you hey guys hope you're enjoying the video just wanted to chime in real quick that that is not the tire pressure gauge. It's actually the primary and secondary uh, air gauges for the brakes. Um, look, looked a little different, but it took me a second to realize that that's what it was. I was like, ah, oh, okay. Later on, I was like, oh, that's what that is. But yeah, the new trucks don't come with uh, tire pressure gauges on the dash, so you just have to, you still have to manually check the pressure of your tires. You, I wonder if it tells you what the other ones are. Or if it just tells you what the steers are, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be something else to play with, right? To kind of see what what kind of settings you can kind of play around with and whatnot. Oh, that's just the idle. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know what I just did. Okay. Check that out, guys. Oil temperature, fuel. Tells you how much fuel is in there. I just this thing is gonna need some fuel. Doesn't really have a lot left. Wow, everything, everything is di is digital on this thing. That is insane. That's just trip. That's tripping me out, like for real. That's something else I'm gonna have to, I guess, kind of play around with a bit. Is trying to figure out what uh set up your favorites, adapted cruise control. 
this one has like the most things on it this is or uh, where is it yeah, this one here has every oh what happened just happened did it reboot or something or did I oh shit it did huh that is the only thing about digital displays right is that if they if they if they trip out then it's like well what happens right you can't see anything but anyways this one looks like it's the one with the most no wait, it's this one here I think I don't want to spend too much time here messing with this. I'll have enough time to kind of play around with these settings and whatnot. It's a little slow changing the menus. There we go. That one is the one that has the brake app, fuel, temperature. It's even got engine torque on there. And, it's gonna, and it even has, apparently, it's got the turbo boost. So how much pressure is going into the turbo. That's new. This looks like this is this would be kind of your your general one that you would have on if you wanted to see all the uh, all the gauges and everything, which I which I definitely like to be able to see as I'm driving. That's neat. So this this is gonna be just more stuff to play around with there. I'm gonna have to really really mess with that for a bit and figure that one out just to make sure. It's already got the pre pass in there, so that's good. Uh, tablet tablet is the same is the same tablet, so. I'll have to mess around with that and kind of set that up how I want to. But yeah, everything everything in here is like a is like a really dark gray or a black. And so it hits really really nice on the truck. I love these seats. These seats are beautiful. Oh my goodness, these seats are super nice. I don't have two different seats anymore. <laughs> it's got new car smell in it, guys. I mean, it, it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, which is what the other one just, oh my God, the other one just reeked of cigarette smoke. It was absolutely terrible. But uh, storage space looks like it's still about the same. You got your cubbies here and here. You got your storage space up here, here and here. No changes there. Uh, oh, no air in that, in that seat. Love compartments pretty much empty. So I wanted to go get a bunch of uh, I wanted to go get a bunch of uh, my permit books and stuff like that here in a little bit. But yeah, this is a 2023 with 25 miles, man. That's insane. It's crazy. And then let's go ahead and turn on the lights in the back so that we can see what we're looking at. And this is, I think, where the big changes come in with these trucks. This. I like that this is just one solid color and that it's dark. The other one's really light and it's, it gets dirty really freaking easy. And then of course you still got you still got your two yeah you still got your two drawers there that's good. I'll pull this back for well you know what? I'll leave that like that for just a minute. This is another thing. Oh my god, brand new mattress like brand spanking new. It's a little extra firm but at least it's brand new man like that's the like when i got into this other one it was it was oh it sucked man can't tell you how bad it how bad it felt and here is the microwave this looks like it's about the same size it actually has a holding bar here it made me wonder if there was like a locking bar on the other truck and it's just gone oh my bad <laughs> but yeah this is actually kind of nice that you can put the microwave in and then put this thing over to kind of lock it in place so that you don't have to strap it down that would actually be kind of nice than having to put the straps that space is still the same still have the top bunk i think that should have a mattress in it too let's see let's pull that top bunk. Oh. yep this got a new mattress up here too still same still the same layout nothing too different up here Another big difference is that the walls on the back are black. It looks kind of gray in the camera, but it is black, which another thing I love just solid color. I don't like to have multicolor things and gray is such a dull color, but black is just mm, it's slick and nice black curtains instead of gray curtains. So that should help out immensely with the heat. Then we come over here and 
Oh man, this is this is oh okay. Everything here is the same except this is amazing. They actually put a remote control for the inverter in the new trucks. And it's probably off on the it's probably not on on the bottom. Probably have to open it up and see. But like it's probably like the switch is probably off. Or it's not plugged in or something. I'll have to check it. But it's got the reset button and everything here. It tells you if it's faulting or everything. Wow, that's nice. So that this way you don't have to like hop out of the truck and pull everything out. And just to be able to reset this thing or check if how much power is being used on the inverter. And then, so everything here is the same. Nothing, no differences here. All the controls are the same. Uh, the closet is the same. Ah, oh, nice. Now there's a mirror here. The other one didn't have a mirror. I'm pretty sure that somebody broke the other mirror. But now there's a mirror here. That's actually kind of nice. Hi, everyone. <laughs> but everything is still the same in here. Still the same amount of space as the other truck. So nothing too different here. Uh, but this, guys, this is the big one. The biggest change in these new 2023s that we're getting here at CFI. Boom. They give us fridges now man nice yo ho ho i just bought a fridge too. <laughs> but yeah they give us fridges now man look at that it hasn't even been used yet this is super cool man I mean, it's kind of small to be honest i think mine might even be bigger than this but uh what i may end up doing is I'm, i'll probably just end up using both to be honest i won't put the fridge here anymore i think maybe i'll put it like on the top or something and then just run and run both of them at the same time and you know have more storage space i have to play with it i have to see because either way i'm gonna have to carry that fridge with me because I ain't, I ain't gonna be able to do anything with it until i go home if i decide to just take it off the truck but we'll have to see what I decide to do with it. There's still one drawer over there, but man, yeah. Now they come with fridges now, so you don't have to buy a fridge. Oh man, that's cool, man. That's amazing. This is this thing is super neato, guys. I mean, the inside of it, to, like, like honestly, the layout's still the same. You still have your your TV mount here. Uh, your plugs and everything are all still in the same spots. All the space is still the same. It's just color, color, uh, change, color change just a little bit. Color layout is the big is one of the biggest things. It looks like they went with a lot more black than gray, which I which I enjoy. I like it. Uh, but everything's still pretty much the same. But man, dude, this thing smells good. I'm gonna be happy to be driving in this truck for you know however long I'll, I'm gonna be with CFI going forward. I mean, this is probably gonna be my truck for as long as I'm here at CFI at this point, regardless of how long I'm gonna be here with CFI. This is probably gonna be like my my truck. So I'm gonna be in this truck a lot longer than the other one, more than likely. But yeah, guys, this is this is really really cool, really really neat brand, spanking new. I can't wait to shoot some drive videos in this thing see how this thing drives uh, see how in comparison see how it drives right in comparison to the driving a older truck which i say you know an older truck but i mean it's only a four-year-old truck but or a three-year-old truck but you know that it had it when i drove it it had already three hundred and thirty thousand miles on it it's at 403 right now So now with, with this thing barely even being driven, I mean, it's got 25 miles on it, man. Like that should be pretty freaking cool. That should be pretty awesome. So let's do one more thing before, there's one more piece of the pie we need to look at before I shut it, before I get off with you guys for now. Cause I got some stuff to get done. I gotta move in. <laughs> I gotta move in, but let's go and see what under the hood looks like because that's also a thing that i haven't done with these new ones is see exactly what it looks like under the hood so let's go look at that 
even this is like, dude, like just the, just the whole design of this truck is like so much fun. Like I took the last time I was here, I brought you alive and I kind of showed you what the outside of these things looks like. But I mean, just night and day. I mean, look at that. Kenworth, Kenworth did a really good job of changing their layouts of these trucks to make it look a little bit more modern, a little more sleek. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like. Wow, there's a lot of differences here. One, this is about as clean as I've ever seen a truck engine. <laughs> this thing is super clean. It just has some water, you know, from the rain, I guess. But other than that, I mean, it's squeaky clean. Look at that, squeaky, everything is squeaky clean. Like the grease isn't even like blended into the truck yet. It's only got 25 miles on it. But uh, some some big changes is the coolant and the windshield wiper reservoirs are no longer up here. I can see the windshield wiper stuff here, which to be honest, I think it would, I think it's good that they changed that because on mine, it's up here just pushes the water up and over the and over the cap so it's kind of or the fluid I mean so it's kind of nice that they kind of redesigned this to kind of put it down here where it probably won't be a problem anymore so that's nice they also changed the what looks like the cap which looks like the cap goes like way over instead of like just hovering over the top like the other one but that's that's the biggest difference that I can see the location of the turbos kind of still the same just kind of lowered but the exhaust I mean turbo and everything is still in the same locations AC unit is still in the same location the air unit still up there but it looks like it's got a little extra uh, piece there but let's go around and let's go see what it looks like over here on this side Whew, like I said this is about the cleanest I've ever seen This is it right here. But that's neat. They put it in the back. It kind of opens everything up up here in the front. I bet you anything they did that because one of the first things to go if you wreck this thing is everything right here in the front. Radiator, reservoir, uh, reservoirs dead, gone. And they get all gunky and stuff from all the dirt coming into the vents and whatnot. So I guess that's why they decided to move this to the back and why they moved the other reservoir down to the side makes more sense I guess huh interesting that's kind of neat it may, what, what does become a challenge though is it looks like it, if I have to top this thing off oh shit I gotta turn it on uh, if I have to top it off I'm gonna have to like when I do, like climb up on the top of it 
tire or have to get a really like a flexible hose or something in order to top it off. So, I, mean, I can't I can't reach it. Tippy toe is still like imagine with the thing like going like this. Like, yeah, I have to like get high. So I'll probably either climb on climb on the tire or uh This thing is clean, man. Clean engine paint. Not a, not a ounce of dirt on it on the inside, man. Goodness gracious. It's so nice. Unbelievable. Looks like it has a lot more things built into the body for wind resistance. For better airflow. Definitely aerodynamic fins and stuff on it. Wow, this is insane. And one of the cool things is the Contract Raiders logo is changed on there. It's the cursive writing like that, the kind of the old school look. That's kind of neat. Fuel tanks are over here now on the sides instead of instead of behind. So fueling up is gonna be more just unhook it right here. And then on the other side, same thing too. So you don't have to you don't have to walk behind the, the truck to fill it up anymore. You just do it on the side. It looks like, yeah, and def is right here too. So it makes it a lot easier to fuel everything up instead of having to walk back here and like do it. But catwalk, sliding fifth wheel, fifth wheel, uh, fifth wheel uh, button. I know it still has the manual lock here, but. There's a lot of things I'm going to be able to play with here. Brand new tires. I mean, dude, this thing's ready to rock and roll. We're going to put some miles on this thing. This thing's clean as hell, man. Wow, this is insane. I'm sorry if I just, like, I'm kind of out of commentary because I'm just in awe about how beautiful this is and how amazing this is that um, I'm going to be able to drive this thing. I guess, it's, I guess I'm kind of getting a little melancholy here that it's like it's crazy where you come from you know you put in hard work and you do your job right and you get rewarded in different ways now granted the reward isn't always going to be more money right a lot of people think about you know that the reward should always be on making more money right well sometimes it's just the little things this is a pretty big thing but you know they could have easily just said you know what we're gonna have them run this truck into the ground and that's it but you know they went ahead and i get to put old faithful and wherever she goes from here she did me good for these last eight months that i've had her so we went through our first you know what seventy thousand miles in this thing like, yeah man <sighs> so yeah i'm feeling a little melancholy today just like wow, well, I get to, I get to drive a brand new truck, but I've worked so hard for this, and now I get to experience what it's like to drive in a brand new truck. Like this is just so freaking cool. I've been waiting for this since I started with this company, and now I get to do it. So I'm very excited, guys. I can't wait to start messing with this thing and get a feel for it. And then let y'all know how it goes, man. Once I kind of get a feel for everything, man. I even got to put the chains on there. Like, it doesn't even have the chains on there. I wonder if I should just move my other chains and put them over here, probably. But that's this next step, guys. I'm kind of rambling now. But now for the rest of the day, I'm going to work on moving everything from this guy to this guy. And then probably tomorrow, get on the road and get on the first drive with this thing. But yeah, guys, thanks for coming along with me. Thank you for, this is probably a good time just to say thank you all for joining me on this journey so far. I really enjoy talking with y'all and enjoy all the feedback that I get from everybody. And I hope you enjoy the videos that I create for y'all. And so, but yeah, man, you work hard enough. You do your job correctly here. You can get yourself into one of these too and experience what it's like to drive one of these badass boys but yeah guys so i'm gonna get to work on moving in to my new house <laughs> and then we shall go from there guys but remember to like subscribe
leave any comments. If, I, if you feel like I left anything out that you want to see from this new truck, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do about showing you all this. But yeah, guys, y'all have a good day. Be safe out there. Keep the rubber side down, the metal side up. Man, beautiful. I'll see y'all down the road.